Hello, I'm Teresa Stanley. The research that I'm going to present today is on ionic cards, a multipurpose scheme to study ionic formula in chemistry. The traditional teaching of ionic formula in chemistry is insufficient for students to grasp the concept of ionic formulas. Formula writings need practice. In today's education, it is emphasized that students should be engaged collaboratively in the learning process, while teachers should serve as a guide for students. According to Elmas and Gibbon, 2012, swift technological development and changes have shifted roles of students and teachers, followed by environmental changes in classroom and school. The ionic card can be utilized as a formative assessment, parallel for playing a memory card, a formula building game, and determining the molar mass of the compound in a gamification style made up of thin woods with two different colors to differentiate the positive and negative ions. The game will start with students playing the memory game to test their understanding of the 26 ions in the chemistry syllabus. Once students have mastered the name of the 26 ions, they will move to the second phase of the game, formula building and finally calculation of molar mass using mathematics. A quantitative study on 36 students in a secondary government school in Selangor using the game proved that the game was fun and motivated them to study chemistry. Game-based approach is based on constructivist theory of learning. Students are challenged and engaged and each student are enabled to construct their knowledge. Interaction with other students plays significant role in developing new knowledge and skill. Collaborative or cooperative learning allows participants to exchange information to solve a particular problem which can result in the production of solving a specific issue which can produce new ideas. In this paper, students' satisfaction is how a student sees that his needs, goals and desire have been fully fulfilled using the INIC card to form formula building and finally calculate the molar mass. The objective? To measure the perceived learning effectiveness of INIC cards, a multipurpose game to study formula in chemistry. Second, to examine the satisfaction of using ionic cards, a multipurpose scheme to study ionic formula in chemistry. And finally, to examine the relationship between perceived learning effectiveness and satisfaction using ionic cards, a multipurpose scheme to study ionic formula in chemistry. I've designed the ionic cards using Adobe Illustrator. After which stickers are printed and pasted on a wooden card. Students will pick two, diff uh, two similar ions where they need to know the name of the ions as well as the formula. The correct pair will get one point. Then we will go to the next part of writing the ionic formula. So in this game, students will open two different cards so one will be the negative and one will be the positive so once they open the cards they need to write down the formula of the ionic compound form so in molar mass calculation they will need to calculate the molar mass formed by the formula so this will require students with some mathematical knowledge. So if the students manage to get the correct formula, they will be awarded one point. So the students with the most correct calculated 
Uh, ionic formula will win the game where they will answer survey question related to the perceived learning effectiveness of the game. The second part of the survey question, the seven question will be on uh, the satisfaction on the usage of Both the game. survey questions are actually adopted. So, so the other points. part of the data analysis will be on perceived learning effectiveness results in the indi results indicated that students either strongly agree or agreed that they learn much factual information about the topic and were interested to learn about the issue after playing the game while the survey on satisfaction indicates that students either strongly agree or agree that they were satisfied with this type of game-based learning experience and learning environment. Regarding the hypothesis, hypothesis testing, using Spearman, a Spearman correlation was performed to test whether there was an association between learning effectiveness and satisfaction. So the results showed that there is a significant association between learning effectiveness and satisfaction based on the p-value of less than 0.001. So there is a high positive correlation between the learning effectiveness variables and satisfactions with the r-value of 0.8. This is a user-friendly circle wood to build the card, which is environmentally friendly and of course it lasts longer. 